Hey young guys, today in this video I'm going to go over how you can build a mobile application using Gapsy, which is a drag and drop mobile app builder. Let's jump straight into it guys. This is the Gapsy website here, if you haven't seen it before. It's super easy to use Gapsy, it's a drag and drop mobile app builder. The idea is it lets you create a mobile app in as quick as 60 minutes and I'm going to show you how today. So navigate to the Gapsy website by searching Gapsy or simply type in the address of gapsy.com, you'll find it pretty quickly. And then you log in, create an account, and you want to purchase an account. I'm not going to show you how to do that today, so that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to show you how to create an account here. So I've already created an account, and I've got an app here, but we're going to create a new application today. So in order to do that, we're going to go create a new application, and we're going to give it a name. We're going to make a similar account to this one here, so we call it the Queen's Head Hotel. The Queen's Head Hotel is a pub, and we're going to be building an application for a pub today. So the idea will be that the app will have information about the menus, and functions, and times, and that sort of thing. Here we are. Um, this is all unnecessary, we'll just quickly skip over this, click save, yours might be a bit different, here we go, validate, and here we go, we're building a new application, this might take a bit of time to load because we're creating all this new information and data, here we go, and here's our new app there. As you can see, there's no icon or image attached to it yet. Let's go in and do that now. We click on Manage, and this will take us to the place where we can actually build our application. As I said before, this takes a bit longer to load because it's loading for the first time. And here we go. Now, as this loads, you can see there's quite a bit going on. But the first thing Gapsy lets you do is choose your template for your app. And the template is how you interact with your app and how the elements appear on the screen. So you can scroll through and choose a template. Because it's going to be a simple app for a hotel, we want quite a simple template. And we want it to be aesthetically pleasing because we want to have nice big images and pretty icons. So I want to choose this one here, this template called Rush Cafe. And we're going to go OK. And it's going to load into the settings. And we'll be able to get started adjusting our app. Here we go. Now we're in the Gapsy designer area here. And this lets us change all the features within the app, within this area, in this build screen. As you can see on the right hand side, we have a preview of the mobile app and how it's going to look on our phones when it's in use. So as you make changes throughout the settings, we can refresh the changes here and see how they look. So on this home page, we can adjust the image, we can change the template which we just set, and we can also change the layout. To start with, let's change the image. We can go down here by going change your home page, and we can select an image. Here's some I've got loaded up earlier. I want to select this as my image, Queen's Head Hotel one, and it's gonna upload. Oh, it's not big enough, so we're gonna quickly select another one. This one here, let's hope that's a bit bigger. There we go. Now, because it needs us to resize our image, we're gonna select the most important part of the image. And I'm going to take this part there. It looks quite nice. And this is the image we're looking at here. And click OK. Now, this will load the image behind here. And we'll want to change the zone overlay what this means is how your phone orientates. 
So we can have a safe in portrait, which means portrait being upright. We can have a safe in portrait locked, which means the app will only stay in this way. Or we can have a safe in landscape. And you can see as we change these, you can see how the preview and the background will change. For this app, we're going to keep it safe in portrait locked. So this preview will always be shown. If we click see changes there, we can see what changes have been made. And we can see that the image is loaded into the background now. And we're going to leave it safe in portrait. Now, so set a background image now. Now we might want to change these icons along here and what's in them. To do that, we go change your layout. And actually, I'm wrong now. Changing your layout is going to change how these icons appear. We don't want to change our layout, but it's good to know that you can readjust how these icons look and interact on your mobile device. But we're going to keep it as layout 7, which is a nice scrolling left-hand side option. In order to change these, we're going to go to Features, and this will let us update our features. So here are our icons along the top that are loaded into the app. And here are all the available features that we can load into our app. As you can see, there's quite a few. To start with, let's just start by deleting a few of these. Let's go delete the loyalty card. Takes a few seconds. Let's delete notifications, because we don't need that. Let's delete catalog, because we don't need that. We'll rebuild this from the ground up. Let's delete set meal, because we don't need that either. We don't need coupons either, so we'll quickly delete that. And last one we'll delete is places, because we don't need that either. We'll leave contact and my account, because we can put the contact information of the Queen's Head Hotel in there, and we can just leave the personal details of the person in there. So what we're going to add first, we're going to add the menu. And to do that, we're going to use the custom option in here, the custom page. We're going to select that, and that will let us upload our custom information. We're also going to drag this and bring it to the front of this. If we refresh this design, you can see the changes that are made. Drag to the front. There we go. So we can adjust the page name here. We want to call it menu. And let's get the Queen's Head menu. Here we go. Queen's Head menu. As you can see here, our preview has been changed and our icons have been changed and rearranged. So let's grab the menus from the Queen's Head Hotel. Let's open that a new tab and quickly download that. Beautiful. And then let's upload that into here. And how we're going to do that is, we're going to add a section, we're going to call it text, and we're going to say the Queen Head Hotel's latest menu, latest summer menu. Full stop. And then we're going to add an attachment underneath that. That will load underneath here. The label, we're going to call it menu. We're going to add the attachment, which is right there. That's it. Load that in. That will load. While we're here, we're just going to, there we go, it's attached. And we're going to go save to save these settings. So now we're starting to build the inside of this page, and I'll show you that in a second. We can also change the background here. Let's add a custom background. So let's go background. Let's add a portrait because we're going to keep it portrait. Let's add this image as the background for this. 
And here we go, it's loading in. We can resize it as we've already been shown. Here we go. Now we want something attractive to look at like that. Okay. And now we can go see changes. Let's just quickly save that first. So we don't lose any progress. And here we go. Here's how that menu page is looking. It's got our custom background, it's got our custom text, and then it has the download link to the menu. We can also change the icon here. So the icon right now is just currently set by something, nothing random by Gapsy, but we can change the icon here. And for a menu, we might set the icon as something simple, like some cutlery. That's a good idea. You can also upload your own custom icons into here, but for now we'll just use Capsi's um, custom icons. And I'm happy with how that looks, so we can exit out. We can do that by just going back to the design page, and that will take us to the design page. So that's how you edit the features in your application. I also want to show you how to change the colors, because I don't like the color brown that's on here. So I'm going to change that if I go into colors and adjusting that. I want that to be probably a gray or a black. Now there's a lot of icons and colors and you can change all sorts of things here. But we want to simply go into the home page and I think we want to adjust the image to be dark. There we go, as you can see it's made it black now. And the text, we want to make that probably gray. There we go. And now we've got those colors changed. And now we can go in and play with this app and see what it looks like. There we go, so all the colors have been updated and it looks much, much nicer. As you can see, the contact information is still from the template. So we can change that by simply going into the features setting and adjusting the features in the contact area. I'm not going to show you how to do this because this is very self-explanatory and I think you get the idea of how to use this application. What I do want to show you though is how to preview the app on your phone because this is a really handy tool to know how to use the Gapsy app on your phone and how to actually get a feeling of how your app's going to appear. So in order to do this, click preview on your phone and Gapsy is going to give you some instructions. What Gapsy is basically telling you to do here is download the Gapsy app. You can do that by scanning the code and this will take you to the app store. So this is how it works. Download the app and here it is. I'm showing you the app now on my phone and you can see we can log in and go test your app. Now, here we go. There's the first app I built, and here's the app that I'm currently building, the Queen's Head Hotel. And I've clicked that, and you can see that my app has loaded onto my phone. And this is really, really cool, because now we can go in and play with the app and see how it feels and interact with it on our phone. Super powerful tool. I hope this video helped guys with using Gapsy to build your mobile application. Have a great day guys, I'll catch you all soon.